Hello and welcome to Naveed for Speed. Right now I am very excited because this car, this beautiful looking car right here is the Maserati MC20 Cello. Now the Maserati MC20 is the first time Maserati have made a supercar in around 20 years since the Maserati MC MC12 and this being the Cello is the convertible version. Of course that name Cello means in Italian means sky. So that's why if you come over to this side you can see that this car currently does not have a roof now this car's roof is actually hard top what basically what Maserati have done have they, they've replaced the upper half with a glass roof that has aluminium components but most of the rest of this car is carbon fiber it has a carbon fiber monocoque and if you look around the skirts around the front of the car you can actually see all of this ca exposed carbon fiber there's some also at the back now that exposed carbon fiber is actually an optional extra but if you don't choose that as an extra you just get standard carbon fiber that's had paint on it this particular one has exposed carbon fiber and you can also see uh, the Maserati Trident badges on the front as well pretty cool number plate too as we move sort of more towards the side profile of the car again you can clearly see that this is clearly a supercar um, but we'll get more into the dynamics of it driving dynamics of it later and as you move to the back all of this exposed carbon now I have seen versions of this car that have a Maserati Trident on the top as well so that when you are opening and closing your roof uh, it sort of the the back sort of flips up and whoever's following you they can they can see the huge Maserati Trident logo this particular car doesn't have that but there are some interesting features that this car does have so if we if you go inside the car I'll show you some of the features inside so to start with it has scissor doors but let's get inside. It is, it is worth noting that in order to make the MC20 a convertible, uh, Maserati have had to obviously add a glass roof and a, some aluminium components. That glass roof, by the way, is electrochromic, so it can go frosty so that you can block out most of the light, but it can also go transparent so you can let most of the light in. In order to make this car a convertible Maserati have had to add 65 kilograms of weight to the car but again we'll see how that feels to drive inside you know you've got the standard Maserati uh, interior this lovely steering wheel which has this sort of Alcantara feel to it and this sort of uh, plastics which come in a sort of carbon fiber V pattern start stop button on the steering wheel um, but here in the center console you can see the uh, driving mode so you got wet GT sport and Corsa but I will talk about them again when I take the car out for a drive and one thing that I quite like is this interior uh, camera which is for the uh, sort of rear view mirror now I've always found these cameras slightly odd because regardless of which way you turn it you still see the same thing it's not like you your, your field of view changes but I'm sure you can you can sort of use the settings to change what you see and brightnesses and stuff um, but that's a pretty cool feature but anyway now we'll take the car for a drive. I'm excited. The Maserati MC20 is available as a coupe and now as a hardtop spider. There's even the potential for an electric version, which we may see in the near future. The MC20 comes with a 3 liter V6 turbocharged engine, which produces 630 horsepower and 730 newton meters of torque and with a curb weight of under 1500 kilograms the Maserati MC20 can do 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 2.9 seconds and on to a top speed of over 200 miles per hour this particular one that I'm driving is finished in Rosso Vincente which means winning red a nod to Maserati's racing history Okay, so here we go in the Maserati MC20 Cello. I've been looking forward to this for so long. And of course, we have the roof down because it's a beautiful day. Um, not too sunny, not too warm. But yeah, I have got a Maserati MC20 Cello and the Millbrook Proving Circuit. my arsenal so this car 
has four driving modes. There's, there's wet, there's GT, there's sport, and there's Corsa. Currently it's in GT mode. GT mode is its default mode. So this is the sort of mode that is going to be in most of the time. And Maserati have actually built this car around GT mode. So that sort of tells you what kind of car it is. It's more of a GT car than a supercar. But I personally think it sort of blends the lines between GT and sports car because it doesn't have a terrible amount of boot space. Uh, the ride is very um, grippy. There's lots of, there's great handling. There's all the um, grip available when you need it. Yeah, like then. But also, it's not too firm. The suspension isn't too firm and it is something which you can spend a long time in and cover long miles. Now, obviously I am on the hill route at the Melbourne Proving Ground and there are loads of uh, bumps on this road. It's not the best road surface, but I'm actually not feeling punished by the road surface. And then, oh, when you put your foot down in the straights, you really feel those turbos. You can hear the turbos. In fact, that's an advantage of having the roof down. You can hear those turbos, which sort of spin symmetrically. Um, and obviously that combined with the V6 engine is just sublime. It has torque whenever you need it. And it sounds incredible. Do I miss the V8? From where I'm sat right now? No, I don't. finally came out how lovely is this how lovely is this i am just so glad that i've got to drive this car a massive 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 thank you to maserati you guys have allowed me to experience this wonderful car but the experience is not over because here at the millbrook proving ground there is also not just the hill route there is also the high speed bowl and we are going to take this now on the high speed bowl and we are going to experience the cello at up to 100 miles per hour let's make our way there Woo. i love this thing i love the way that it drives i love the way that it feels i love the theater and the drama of it although it's not i mean it's a supercar but that's one that's designed like a GT car, but that doesn't take away from the theater of it. It's obviously not the same as a Lamborghini Huracan or a Ferrari F8, but don't get me wrong, this thing certainly turns heads and it is absolutely beautiful. Dare I say it, dare I say it, more beautiful than the Ferrari or the Lamborghini. But here we go.
Ooh, adrenaline. Right, to sum this car up then, if I was to sum it up in two words, I would say molto bene, very good. But if I was to sum it up in one word, it would be bellissimo, beautiful.